Welcome back everybody to more everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. Got a special tournament today, Alpina. All 18 long tees mega cups. I've not actually played this setup as well, so that's always good. I've not played Alpina in a bit, so I've kind of got to remember it. So we're downwind for the first shot. We've got plenty of length. It's getting into that pin's gonna be the the interesting part. There's two options, isn't there? There's go over the top and backspin it. Or there's play it long, try and curl it round and leave yourself a putt. I mean, a one wood at the green. We might get round the corner. We've got the custom clubs, we've just got a standard ball today. Nothing fancy. Wow, that's skated on a mile. Got a good bounce somewhere. Where's that gone? It's on the fairway still. Got a big old chip back though. It's mega cups, so some of these chips are gonna be gonna be makeable. I've gotta find my range though to be fair. Overhitting stuff is not gonna be the way to do this. So we start with the birdie. Nice it looks like we can drive the fours. So two is a par three. Two's a par three. Normally you've got it there, yeah, the pin's down the front, you can kind of roll it in. Downwind, so might have overhit that a touch. Depends where it bounces, yeah, it was overhit. Big pop back. Sloping downhill. Breaks to the right. Sure, it breaks far though. See that? In the hole, another birdie. So we've got to get a bit closer, I think. Can't just rely on mega cups and big putts. It's a three. It's the first of the fives. Now there's two routes here. You can go around here, which actually probably is the shot. You can also play up here and chip over the trees, but I don't see why I'd bother here. I think we're going to have a nice shot. I'm really looking to be round the corner, so I've got a clean line there. Yeah, that would be all right. Could have been a bit further to the right, but uh, you know. It's 100 to go. It's a way uphill. It's a wedge. You don't need to add that much on for the altitude. It's quite a steep shot. Backspin, please. What I'll do. Bracketed the pin for an eagle pup. So four under. All part of the plan. Hold four. It's a powerful. Now, as I recall, there's an enormous skip here. In fact, I may not even need to skip it. I might be able to land this. A bit of shape on it so it's going to land somewhere in the rough and it's all about the bounce wow i've got a real skidder yeah straightened up we've got a shot at the pin there what do you can ask for no point crying or complaining just chip it in oh what a far away the eagle would have been nice but I would have, would have needed a better tee shot, really. Just clipped the wrong part of that slope and it just skidded on. It's five under. No, the par four. This one's got the track across the middle. Is the track going to be in play? It sort of is. So we need to make sure, although we've got two choices. We, we could go for it and try and hit past it. We could just choke it up a touch. I think we'll do that. 
Just give ourselves a good second up. Bravo! It's going to be the difference between a nine iron and a wedge, so it's not worth. Not worth taking too much risk. Actually, it's still a wedge. Either way. Bad. Roll with go for the birdie. Gonna be another birdie. Nice birdie. Six under. Exciting. Oh, six. It's a par four. I think this one's straighter than you think to that point, isn't it? Yeah. The wind's gonna be the issue. Hmm, I may even set up differently here. I might even go over this side and play a bit of shape on it. Because of the way the wind's coming. Off you go. Oh, good shot. Just trying to curve it against the wind. Oh, that's good, that's good, I like that. Oh, it's just going to roll. It's going to be on the path. No, it's in the rough. That's a shame because that would have made this a little bit easier. But we'll be all right. We'll be all right. We should be able to. Oh, flyer, wet. Oh, just held. Oh, that's the problem with the rough. You hit the flyer, you're in all sorts of trouble. Disappointing, really, because there's a proper birdie chance there. Unless we can chip that in, not quite. Uh, that's what comes again in the rough though on that first shot. Nice Good nice so still six on that. Stay positive. Keep cool. <laughs> Keep cool, thanks. Thanks, Suzuki. Oh, it's a seven. It's a par three. three. This oh it's at the back, so you can get at this one. Sometimes it's at the front and you can't really get at it. But you can get at this one. I may even go eight iron. Didn't get the backspin I wanted. <laughs> but we'll be on. Oof. Not far away. Missed the wrong side though. So, see if we can chip it in. Right. Then she goes. Oh. Oh. Nice birdie. Seven under. It's a powerful. And I wait. Got to stay right. So the issue here is anywhere on the left. This here, water, anywhere. Well, you can land it there to an extent. The trick is to put a three wood out there and hold it. Absolutely ripped it. Oh, did it get up enough? No, it's going to come back. It's wet. That's what I mean. So we'll take a shot from there. That's a shame, really, because that had been two, three yards further up. That would have been an absolute beauty. But it wasn't until it isn't. And we'll be lucky to get out of here. Dropping a shot. Alright, now we need some sort of divine intervention. It's going to be a little skiddy runner when it gets to the top. Get in. Oh, you beauty. Safe the par. So we finish with a par 5. Still not top of the tournament. What are doing that well? Uh, down, I'll give it the means basically. Ultra spin. Master Force. Nice shot. A, keep it low. Well, you can keep that shot low, but also you get the big bounce. In fact, I've bounced it into that bunker. 
That was 455. 4.55. That'd have been my record. That's mega though, isn't it? Mega cups. But nine's the place to come if you want your um, longest. Longest drive if it's downwind. So we still got a chance at the eagle. I'm going to finish nine under for the first nine. I'll take it. Yep. Didn't two put anything. Still not top. I mean, we're top of everybody who's finished nine. But it's kind of a birdie hole, this course. Use your eagles. E eagles? Use your eagles to bring you back into it. It's a par four. It's a ten now. I think off normal tees you can just drive this. I mean, you've got to play backspin. Oh, we got it as well. Got the ultra backspin. It's the altitude that's the issue here. Yes, we got it on. It's on the green. 18 foot for the eagle. Show us those skills. Breaking to the right. Can we hold it? See that? There you go. Eleven under. First time I've eagled that. It's a complete contrast. Par three. What does he want? Fifteen foot with super top spin. We to give that a go. Ah, I missed the shot though. So no spin. And perversely, it'll be inside 15 foot, won't it? Yeah, it is as well. 10 foot away. Got the birdie though. That's what really counts. So big par five again. Oh, Home of the Condor. Uh, the question is, how much shortcut can we take? You can always play up here. I mean, we could go for that. In fact, if we set up properly, let's get ourselves set right up in the corner. We probably can cut this corner off here. Oh, I missed it. Oh, that's going to be wet. That's going to be wet. We'll give it another go, though, because, you know, it's the shot. Just need to hit it. It's those times that impact lets you down. That's all right, Suzuki. What are you complaining for? Hmm. Right. right, we're still in this hole. Uh. I'm up just relaxed. Chance for the par. Keep cool. Was a bit disappointing though. Oh, it's a par three. So from the sublime to the ridiculous. Yeah, you're gonna have to backspin this. There's no way to stop that. You have to top spin it in the right. Oh, you could top spin it in the rough. If you really went for it. So we're kind of going to intentionally scuff it through the rough. Great shot. Although if I'm not careful, it'll be in the bunker. Oh, yeah, we got it on. Well, I've got it on the fringe. Just too many dodgy bounces we had there. I can't got the birdie though. Thank you. I can't believe it. I 
Get yourself a birdie. Nice birdie. Still not top of the tournament. Oh, 14. It's a par four. Now, this one's interesting. If there's a spot here you can land it, it'll just roll up to the pin. I'm going to back off it a bit because it's downhill. And the wind will kind of hold it a bit. There you go. So I'm going to come around. I've pitched it a bit too late. But see what I mean? It comes round onto the green. It gives us an eagle punt, though. Get in there. 15 under. Finally, top of the tournament. Finally. It's a powerful. It's a 15. Again, you can pretty much drive this. You end up being a little bit shy, as I remember. Go on then. Oh, good shot. Come on about the bounce. Nice yeah, it's just gone left into that bunker. It's all right, though. We'll take a chip. It'll get me close enough for a pop. Got the birdie. <laughs> 16 under and a shot clear. Oh, 16. It's a par four. Again, this is drivable. It's those trees, though. I might have to set up slightly over here. Wrong shot. That's wet. Ah! Pounced off that green. I'll get a drop at least. Look at the gauge closely. Yes. My issue wasn't not looking at the gauge, Suzuki. My issue was being a pillock. Putting the wrong spin on it. We nearly got away with it, though, if it wasn't for those pesky kids. So we got a par. Actually, we can part that. What am I doing? Take the part. Two to go. Level at the top. Massive point advantage, though. So, you can pretty much go over. You want 15 foot within the pit. Okay. You don't want much, do you, pal? Oh, caught a bit of the tree. That'll shorten it up. Needs a bounce. Nah, it's not going to be short. It's going to end up short. That's disappointing. We'll get a birdie part, though. Go for the birdie! Disappointed when they're drivable and you don't even get it close. So 17. Leaves us with the par 5, 18. We're a shot clear. Last one, Paul, 18. It's a par 5. Now the other approach is you can play up here. It gives you a sort of cleaner shot in. I've albatross this off the normal tees. And I played this route. Because basically you get, well, it's a straight to second shot for want of a better term. So run 70. And a gap between my 8 and my 7.
There we go. Champion! Pfft. That dead and did a bit. It's nice and close, though. Amazing! Oh, right, I got the um, got the gems, and we get a crack at the eagle pop. Nineteen under. And we must have won. I mean, if he's albatrossed it, I'd be upset. Yeah, there you go. One by five shots in the end. You could probably get twenty-four under here. But we set a score. Let's have a look at the stats. Uh, Fairies and greens were not good, but we were just trying to blam it, weren't we? I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. Always like new subscribers. Um, leave me a comment and I'll see you next time for a bit more of your biddies golf. It's yours. Mm-hmm.